around the center of Europe. I liked it yeah, very much. <laughs> O meu nome é Rudy, jogava no Atlético Clube Portugal e agora nos jogo no Cerco de Bruges. E quem me deu esta pedra foi uma banda de música em Portugal. Para mim, Bruges é a tasty chocolate. I think it's the chips, it's the chocolate and then the beer. It's uh, nice uh, channels with water and uh, people, a uh, bunch of people from all over the world walking around the city. In general, here you can learn lots, a lot from people. You can learn a lot from the, uh, just from walking in the street. It's a small city, it's uh, quiet. You can do anything walking. Bruges has a very good image as a UNESCO World Heritage City and has the image of a magnificent historical city. So I love Bruges. After the World War II and the collapse of Europe, there were thinkers in this area that thought that it was important to create an atmosphere bring together Europeans to work together in an environment without conflict. And so I think Bruges reflects this idea. It's an amazing city. I mean, it opens the way for you to, to, to understand the European culture and to, to feel it, to touch it. The city itself has some very innovative ideas and that's what we want to bring together. It's a perfect match, I think, of bringing the new ideas into a very beautiful old city. If you want to go to the other side of the city, you, need, you may need a bike, you never need a car. Then I run a small but very lively bike tour company out here in the city of Brugge. Uh, we take tourists out in the streets of Brugge and let them uh, know the history uh, of this beautiful historical town and also the outskirts of town, which are very flat and easy to cycle. I've got a very easy approach with tourists, so uh, some of them are not the best cyclists in the world, so that might be a bit dangerous because they're uh, uneasy on the cobblestones, but once they get a bit accustomed to the bike, they love it. Well, the College of Europe is the oldest institute offering postgraduate students from all over the world a one-year training in European affairs. We have over 55 different nationalities. When we get in Europe, we start finding lots of differences between different European countries. But going further in the, uh, in the last analysis, we, have, we, we, see the, we see that there are lots of things that are common in Europe that makes these all countries to come together. Sometimes it is challenging, but that's what makes the college so unique. They're beautiful in their diversity. And I think another very positive aspect of Europe is that we have so many different nationalities and different languages and cultures, and also the history of our different countries are, is so rich. Yeah, the, the main language is Dutch, but if I have to tell them uh, individually, normally I have to speak sometimes in French and in, uh, in English. I am the manager, coach of uh, Cercle Brugge, who plays in the first division of Belgium League. The cooperation with Lisbon for us is very, very important because we can get players, very young players, who didn't play highest level yet in, in, uh, in Portugal but they can develop here and, and normally players from that standard we cannot pay. Uh, so for us it's very important to, to cooperate with them and give the players the opportunity to develop and to, to get uh, games under their belt. Creativity and innovation is adapting to the situation and the future. We make uh, high entrance mats for um, every possible door you, know, you can imagine. 
We started making entrance mats from airplane tires. So we make strips of it and then we punch the holes in it so we can uh, assemble them in with aluminium profiles. The airplane tire is uh, built with high quality nylon and this nylon uh, can be extracted by taking one millimeter of the rubber off the tire uh, so that the rubber uh, fluff comes out. It can absorb the water perfectly. We are proud to say that our people are welcomed all over Europe uh, over our mats. The Concertgebouw in Bruges is an international music and performing arts center. We are also the leader of a new created network, an international platform with the name Muse Muse, in order to promote this region as a very important region for classical music and contemporary music. We want to go with a mobile communication tool. We want to go to the audience, the future audience we hope to create with this. Well, design is not art, for one thing. Design should be industrial. If it's not industrial, it's a handcrafted, it's not design anymore. The Lace Centre is an organisation that tries to maintain the art of lace making. And therefore, we give courses all over Europe. I'm very fond of uh, laces. I have uh, the facade of the next door here, who is also covered with lace. Lace is a handcraft from in 15th century. But here in Bruges, they found a method, beginning of the 20th century, here in the school, with a color code. And that code became the international standard for lace over the whole world. You should, you should see it. I mean, it's, uh, I'm very fond of those things. I started uh, making glasses uh, about 25 years ago, and that's the start of a new business. We're always on, uh, on the edge, a sharp edge, uh, looking for new techniques, new, uh, new possibilities to create. New techniques can offer new possibilities, but everything that is new has, uh, can give some advantages, but at the same time some disadvantages, and lots of the times these techniques are not implemented yet in optical business. What makes us unique is the Belgian fries. They are very good. And secondly, the Belgian food is known as qualitative food. And the two combined give us the idea to, to make a Belgian fries shop with the best quality. The culture around uh, a Belgian fries shop that we know from years ago under the church and next to the railway station, uh, we want to export that, but in the conditions of today. Contemporary, you see the, the design in, is different than 30 years ago, but also the quality, we, we want a quality of today with the nostalgic idea of uh, 20 years ago. We have like two teams and it's, all, it's always been a little bit that Circle Bruggen is the little brother of, of Club Bruggen. Well, Club Bruges is um, actually the most popular uh, football club in, um, in Belgium. You have to have a, a clear view, a clear strategy, a, a clear communication so that um, as well fans as well as um, business partners uh, know very well who you are, what you mean and, and what are you aiming for. The highest ambition um, for a Belgian team is to get in, the, in those uh, Champions League uh, group phase and that's what we will uh, try to achieve in the upcoming years. The innovation is in the fact that uh, we have this double uh, lead boarding which is unique in Belgium and um, was before there a trend in, uh, in Europe. Innovation and um, research is, uh, is of key importance to um, uh, to stay on top of the Belgian League and, and to have international ambitions. Well, our new slogan is uh, No Sweat, No Glory. And it's a slogan that uh, comes out of the, the heart of our fan base. It means that you will never get something for granted. You have to work for it and only then you will get results.
Vienna is a pop-punk band from Bruges. It's just my band and I like it, so... We abuse the social media. We, we really, we, we are spammers. You have to use it, social media. Uh, nowadays it's, it's very important and you can get to notice your band. For growth we needed to expand to the uh, European markets and this network formed very quickly. So for a long time we have over 70% of exports. Uh, so that's why when we launched a new website we needed the .eu. We use uh, .eu because uh, someday the EU will be a standard and uh, we forget about Belgium, France, Germany, whatever. So we thought Europe is known as an ancient continent for quality. So let's use the .eu to uh, Underline that. We are a .eu institution because we truly believe in the European idea. We use .eu because we found .be was too small for all the people we have to, to reach. We have .eu to say that we are not only uh, a Belgian team but also a European team. Because we used to play uh, uh, in the EuroLeague last season, I think it's important that uh, if you play EuroLeague that they can uh, Get some info from your website. Every person who tries and who sees the future of Europe in cooperation and mutual understanding and in keeping its diversity at the same time, I guess that person can call himself European.